stars. A galaxy of heroes teamed together in an interstellar battle against evil. Blast off on adventures as big as the cosmos itself. Race, poised on the edge of time with Space Ghost and his young friend. And somewhere deep in space, Super Danger threatens the Teen Force. Adventure, fun on space stars. Space stars. A galaxy of heroes teamed together in an interstellar battle against evil. Blast off on adventures as big as the cosmos itself. Race, poised on the edge of time with Space Ghost and his young friend. And somewhere deep in space, Super Danger threatens the Teen Force. Adventure, fun on space stars. The planet Eurus, headquarters of evil tyrant Uglor. Where a terrible event is taking place, an event which may mean the end of freedom for the galaxy. At last! I now possess what it will take to defeat the Teen Force. Powers identical to theirs. Remember, sire, you must recharge yourself with the Energizer or these powers will fade away. It will accompany me on my journey. Prepare my ship. Within hours, Centrix, the heart of the galaxy, will be mine. And the Teen Force will be no more. Move it. That distress call was from Sintrex. Sintrex? The home of every major scientist in the galaxy. If Uglor gets control of that think tank, there'll be no stopping him. Wow! That whole planet's one big computer. And where do you meet who runs it? Thank you for coming to Centrex, Team Force. I am Dr. Eros, and you have met my assistants, Grimm and Tana. Our pleasure, Doc. What's the emergency? We have detected Uglor's personal command ship heading toward Centrex. I was one of Uglor's scientist slaves before escaping Eurus. He will stop at nothing to conquer Centrex. If he captures our computers, no force in the universe could oppose him. But until then, the Teen Force is still to be reckoned with. Our sensors indicate only one life form on the approaching ship. Uglor's attacking alone? He must have something up his hairy sleeve. Yeah, but what? My new powers are fully charged. Now, Centrex will fall before me. Activate planetary defense field. Emergency! Someone has deactivated the defense field. Uglor has entered Centrex. That does it! Let's move out! You worked for Uglor once, Grim. You deactivated the defense field. Admit it! No! I am loyal to Centrex. Take him away. No, no, no! I am innocent! Now it is up to the Teen Force. So we meet again, my fine young enemies. Surrender, Teen Fools. I am now all powerful. Okay, Uglor, you asked for it. Now I'm gonna knock you into the next galaxy. Give up while you still can. 
burglar has gotten our powers somehow. Just our luck he didn't get the Astromite's powers instead. You cannot hit what you cannot see, Firebrand! I can't see where I'm going! <laughs> All too easy! Now, for the finishing blow! Key Force is defeated, Dr. Aeros! Centrex is mine! That means the galaxy is mine! Oh, I feel like a meteor fell on me. Uglor really zapped us. Yeah, with our own powers. How did he manage that? He must have used an energizer. It's the only explanation. Grim, did you turn off the defense field? No, Electro, I swear it. Though I am from Eurus, I despise that tyrant. We've got to get out of these fishbowls. I can't change form. It must be this globe. How perceptive of you. The energy field surrounding you nullifies your powers. They were designed by my associate, Tana. Tana, so it was you who betrayed us. Uglar is destined to rule the galaxy, Grim, and I shall rule by his side. We can't let this happen. But how do we get out of here? Hey, Dr. Grimm, is there some way to overload these force globes with our powers? It would take your maximum power, but it might work. Let's all give it a try. You know, those robots gave me an idea. Astromites, listen up. With Dr. Aeros disconnected, the computers are designing weapons for me now. The Teen Force has escaped. Those fools. This time, I shall not be so merciful. Uh, Uglor's Energizer must be aboard his ship, and I must destroy it. Uglor must be in this section somewhere. Prepare to meet your end, Teen Force. Molecular, implement plan nine. Dolly low. Come on, ugly. Catch me if you can. Molecular, now. Ah, oh, I've lost my powers. Ah, the plans for the Dicto Robot your weapon. No, 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 that's not trash. Give that back to me. You idiot. I'll drain your batteries for this. Help! Help! <laughs> ah, the energizer. I'll overload it. All is not lost if I can reach my energizer again. Now to renew my powers. My energizer! Ruined! The team force is right behind me. I cannot have Centrix. I will destroy it. Farewell, team force. A floor is bugging out, and he's dropped a hyper bomb. I'll get it! Grim, I am sorry I doubted you. Centrix is in your debt. Thank you, Doctor. And thank you, Teen Force, for defeating Uglor once again. It wasn't easy, Dr. Aeros. He had some pretty dangerous powers, if I do say so myself. And lastly, the Astromites. I have thought long and hard on how to repay you. <laughs> and I think I have the perfect gift for you. Your very own maintenance robot. <laughs> What could be more peaceful than a picnic on Quasar? But all is not what it seems. Prepare, Herculoids, to defend yourselves against Zeus and the power of the storm. Zuck, get Tara and Dorno out of here. All wrapped up with no place to go. Compliments of Mercury. 
No creature is mightier than Hercules! <laughs> well done, Olympians! You easily defeated these robot duplicates of the Herculoids! We've rehearsed enough! Now it's time for the real thing! On Quasar, home of the Herculoids, Xandor helps his son with a little target practice. Here's another energy rock, Dorno. Ready? Nothing to it, Xandor. I take a breath, aim carefully, and fire! <laughs> Oops. Sorry about that, Igu. Just watch me, Dorno. What was that? I don't know, but we'd better find out. Very impressive, Uglor. Your attraction beams draw energy rocks like a magnet. Yes, Zeus. And I will continue to gather them until I have enough energy rocks to conquer the universe. But where are these Herculoids we are supposed to protect you from? Right here. So, it's you, Uglor. But who are your friends? Meet Hercules, Mercury, and Zeus, descendants of the original mighty Olympians. And now that we're serving Uglor, he's promised to make us as famous as our ancestors. How noble of him. Enough talk! Attack them! Feel the wrath of Zeus's thunderbolt! No creature is mightier than Hercules! Come on, Zock. Let us put a stop to this. All wrapped up with no place to go. Confluence of Mercury! Open fire, Tundro! <laughs> They've escaped my bonds! Hey, Mercury! Maybe I'm more your speed. Woman, I'll show you speed you never dreamed of! No, Gleep! Uh... His wings will stop him from falling, but it will take him a while to get back! Call that lizard off! Keep it up, Zock! <laughs> Don't give him a chance to throw any more lightning bolts. Get off me, you ugly ape! <laughs> Uglor! We need help! That's why I saved the best of you Olympians to last! Another Olympian! Charge, Tundro! <laughs> Darno! They've been turned to stone. The rest, Medusa! Finish off the rest! I am drained, Agla. I must recover. Oh. Well done, Hercules. <laughs> now let's take them. <laughs> cover for me, Gleep, while I try to call for reinforcements. <laughs> Insolent blob of jelly! You'll pay for this! Only I can open this radio to all frequencies. Tara calling Teen Force. Double time at Teen Force. It sounds like the Herculoids are in big trouble. Tara calling Teen Force. Calling someone human? Hugglor. The Teen Force will arrive too late. I'm taking off to gather more energy rocks now. And your frozen friends are going with me. Why? What else can you possibly do to them? They will make interesting statues for my palace on Ulysses. And now for you! Stop! Come back here! Sandor, where are you? Here, Tara! Let's go after them. No, they will be back. And next time, we win! That's the story so far, Teen Force. Right now, Uglor's flying to the other side of our planet to steal more energy rocks. Then we'd better split up. Zendor, you, Moleculad, and Electra go after Uglor. The rest of us will tackle the Olympians. So far, so good. Now, if only we can find Dorno, Tundro, and Gloop. There, we found them. But how do we change them back? 
Maybe I can unscramble their molecular structure. Stand back! <laughs> Molecular! You did it! Sandor! What... what happened? No time for explanations now. We have to take care of Uglor and his machine. Wrong, you fools! It is Uglor who will take care of you! <laughs> Everybody grab my arms! Fantastic, Electra. That's the gentlest put down a girl ever gave me. Thanks, Moleculad. Let's grab the rocket cycles and find the others. Welcome back, Herculoids. Now we shall settle some unfinished business. With a slowpoke like Mercury on your side? <laughs> Not a chance. You'll pay for that remark, mortal. Here I am, Merc. Ah! No, over here. <laughs> Loose from these vines. Speed is no match for strength. <laughs> Mighty Hercules will tame your dragon and conquer you. And the thunderbolts of Zeus will teach you a lesson you won't forget. <laughs> Vile insects! I'm so dizzy I can't aim my lightning bolts. Slow down, you big lizard. Do as I say. Well, Zock, it looks like you've done just fine without us. <laughs> that smile will be frozen on your face forever, creature. <laughs> I don't understand. Why didn't you turn to stone? Because Igu's already made of stone. Attention, Olympians! I have gathered all of the energy rocks I need. So I'm leaving this foul planet and you with it! But you promised us! Silence, fools! Promises come cheap! And so did you! <laughs> with those energy rocks, Uglor's power will be immense! We must stop him! Wait! We will help you! He's moving too fast for us to catch him! Then Mercury and I will slow him down a bit! They've damaged the ship. Throw everything you've got at it. The ship is out of control. I must escape before the fire reaches those energy rocks. Once again, Uglor has escaped, but without the energy rocks he needed so badly. And the Olympians have learned the value of friendship thanks to the Herculoids and the Team Force.